Hello, this is my Amstrad CPC 464. I bought this over a year ago. I can't remember why, but um, it was on eBay for really cheap. And I'll just do a quick change of scenery. Hello, cat. How you doing? Good. So, yeah, I bought this on eBay as I believe it was a faulty item. Now, I have already powered it on and it didn't work. So, I've undone it. I've taken the screws out of the back and looked inside and it's all crudded up, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but since then, I've put it back together and powered it on and I now get something on the screen, but not the proper start screen. So, let me demonstrate for you now. So, I've already got it connected up. There we go. Have a look on the screen. This is what I get, uh, which is not good. Now I've read a few things on the forum. It says, "Oh, it could just be connections. Um, may just need clearing up or a bit of a, a bit of a jig." But they also say, if you can't hear anything when you're pressing the buttons, especially the delete button, then you have a big problem. So the sound volume is right up. I got nothing. It doesn't really look good. So here we go. Power leads now out. The monitor connection is now disconnected as well. And as you can see, that main board is pretty crudded up and dusty. I mean, just look at the state of that. The tape drive does work. I tested that earlier on. Obviously, I can't actually get it to run because it doesn't seem to be any. Well, there isn't a boot up screen, so I can't run the command to actually get the tape to run. But it does fast forward, rewind. So that's that's a positive sign. And the uh, the tape belt is still there and it hasn't um, perished in any way at all, which is good. So I think. What I'll do is I'll strip down all the components and give it a bloody good clean and uh, see what happens. Uh, and if it still doesn't work, then I'll start looking at some alternatives. One of the alternatives will probably be is fixing the main board if it's a, a RAM issue or um, if it's completely dead, I may actually do some modifications. And stick a raspberry pi in it I, I really don't know at the moment we'll see what happens so this is basically the amstrads i'm going to turn it into a, a usb keyboard as the main board is not working i may actually repair that at a later point um, i've already unscrewed this so let's just take the top off and here's the main board it's pretty dusty as I say I'm gonna at a later point I think I will clean it up and do some uh, fault finding to see what the where the actual problem is but for now I'll just keep that side safely uh, don't ever throw these away I mean they always come in handy you know there's still components there that can be useful for other projects for repairs for other Amstrad you never know what the future holds you know you may get another Amstrad you may get another similar PC that shares the same components anyway I'll just put that aside so for the rest of it it's all pretty mucky so what I'm gonna do is give it a good old clean up if I just turn that around you can see inside here I'm gonna remove all this and give it a good clean I think the first job we'll do is take the actual keyboard off. So let's take some screws up. Very cruddy. I'm 
kind of dirty nose. Yuck. hidden screw around here. hidden screws under there. Maybe we just need to get this one out of here. Very tough that one. So after much fiddling around with this very wedged in there, I don't really want to break it. So I think the simplest option really is to just cut these two wires and if I do use this whole uh, system again I can just re-solder it together. It's not ideal but hey, let's just do it. See this uh, tape mechanism, see how it works. Um, apart from the dust and the little grime here, it seems to be in fairly good condition. So again, it would be a good idea to keep this as a spare, as a, you never know when you're going to need it again. And I will give that a clean up at some point in the future. But for this particular project, I'll just leave it for now. Now this is off, I don't know if you can see it properly, but you can get a good look inside and see how it really is. Get right in there now. Let's see how... So that wraps it up for this episode. Stand by for part two where we give this unit a deep clean and start rebuilding. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons.